Hello everyone, my name is Ethan, this is my channel, Gringo Campesino. So you can see today it's a little bit overcast, not so sunny, which has been great. Uh, I've been getting some rain, just helped my plants a lot. Coffee harvest is going well. My workers, every day he's harvesting coffee. Uh, looks like we got good quality this year, uh, though I don't know about the prices. We'll see how the prices are this year. Uh, so I've been quite busy with uh, some tourism stuff. I had to go to the city and get my new passport, but other than that, I met with a uh, quite amazing woman who has a project in Finlandia. I've known her for a few years. She has a horse riding project and hostel in Finlandia. So if anyone's interested in that type of thing, uh, definitely look her up. She's a really welcoming person, really knows her stuff. So her project is called Steel Horse Columbia. Um, other than that, uh, I've been working on some projects looking for some possible routes uh, through the mountains for her and her horses, possibly to come here and stay in my little town. Maybe we're going to expand to some mountain biking up into the Paramo. Paramo is above the tree line in South America. Uh, they don't have as many species here in South America that can handle really cold temperatures. So it very quickly transforms into uh, this it's kind of a shrub that's native to South America. It's very distinctive. I'll see if I can show a picture. But anyway, I'm hoping to organize some mountain bike tours and maybe expand a little bit on my little camping project here, bring in some tourists who are interested in mountain biking. The idea is to uh, drive them up by local Jeep up into the Paramo and they can ride downhill all the way down to town. Uh, so that's the plan, trying to organize that, long way to go. But uh, definitely if you're interested in tourism in this area, look up Steel Horse Columbia. Uh, anyway, the reason for the video is to update on my micro hydro project. It's been very slow going. Uh, I'm only really able to work a few hours a week on it. But I did weld in some supports. Uh, I created a, the wheel and it's spinning with the fans. So let me turn around my camera and I'll explain how it works. Okay, so you can see I don't have a turbine connected. Um, you can see I have the dam and it is overflowing. What I need to do up here is I need to block off this debris so it doesn't go into the, the turbine area. Um, it's not too big of a problem, but I need to figure out what water, what height I want the water, and the best way to uh, block it off so there's constant flow, even during a flood stage when I have all this debris. So as you can see, it flows down the tube here, and if I don't fall into the river here. So the water comes in this side, and I am creating a whirlpool here. So you can see the fans are turning around which turn this bike wheel that I attached to this old, uh, I think it's a steering rod for a car. Uh, I think it wobbles a little bit too much left and right here. So I think I need to add another support up this direction. So the idea is this should be a constant flow of water because I can keep the flow constant from up here. And then I'm going to add a beam here and add a belt uh, to connect to the generator. So that's the idea. I'm waiting for a little pulley, a little wheel on this side to connect to the generator. I had to order that online. I was trying to use everything with just local material. I find the, found the pulleys here in town. Those are motorcycle pulleys, obviously an old bike, metal, old PVC. Uh, so the whole idea is to try to do it so someone can replicate it without having to order specialty parts, but unfortunately I think the, the generator itself and the little wheel to connect the, uh, the V-belt is going to have to be ordered. So this is, uh, this is generally it. You can see possibly I might want to drop down these fan blades a little bit to get a little bit more of the water involved, but it looks like it's quite powerful. I mean, I have, it takes quite a bit of effort to stop it. Uh, that water weighs quite a bit. So I do believe that 
I will be able to generate quite a bit of power. I think I can probably get more if I drop these fans a little bit lower or, or maybe angle them so they're fitting in with the bottom a lot better. So this is, uh, let me back up again. This is it. So the idea is to continue and connect a, a V-belt and the generator, a roof, and then I have to figure out electronics. So this is again my channel, Gringo Campesino. Uh, hopefully this is interesting. Uh, please subscribe and keep watching. Thanks.